Hello, welcome to my EOC RuneScape Combat Guide. In this guide I will be showing you a fast and efficient way to train your melee. Requirements To use this method you must have completed the Defender of Arox quest, it will be useful to have completed Tarn's Lair, it will be useful to have extreme potions or overload but it's not vital, I would recommend having either turmoil or piety and probably 70, 70 plus attack and strength. Inventory 1. This is a welfare inventory setup. You will need 3 super sets or extreme sets and an inventory full of monkfish. You will use monkfish to save you from dying and you will use the altar that is there to recharge your prayer. Um, this inventory setup is very cheap. Inventory 2. This is a much more expensive option, however it will probably increase your XP rates per hour and be more AFK. You will need to have at least 3 extreme or supersets or 4 overloads. Uh, the rest prayer parts and maybe 4 monkfish for food if you don't have soul split. Gear. For your gear, depending on your defense level, I would take the best armor you can wield or afford. For a helm, I would use the best possible, such as a native's knot if you can, a runefall helm, a berserker helm, or void if you're going to be using void, etc. A fairly good cheap armor set for medium defense levels are the barrow sets. They are fairly cheap and they provide very good bonuses. Um, if you are quite low on cash, you could use a fighter torso and dragon legs. If you are lower defense, you can use rune. If you'd like to save money on prayer, you can use initiate. And if you have void and want to use it, you can use void. If you, I would recommend using a self amulet E if you have one, as zombies are weak to these, and that is what you'll be killing, or just a fury, glory or whisper. For a cape, I would use a fire cape, tokakal, soul wars cape or obsidian cape. If you can't get any of those, just the best cape you can. As for weapons, dual wielding or a chaotic mill will be the fastest XP per hour. I would recommend using the best weapons you can and have, such as chaotics or a whip and excalibur etc. How to get there. Once you have reached the Grand Exchange, walk east to the east exit. You will reach the Varrock Castle. Run into the Varrock Castle to the northwest tower. I have got a Varrock teleport tab to get back easily, otherwise you have to go back up the ladder. You will see what I mean when you get there and home teleport out. Once you have reached the Northwest Tower, go through the door and up the stairs. Keep going up until you see Captain Rovin and Hartwin. You won't be able to see Hartwin if you haven't done the Defender of Outquest. Speak to Hartwin and tell him that you are ready to go. Now you are here. Action bar. For your action bar, you are going to want to have Slice, Havoc, Sever, Flurry, Assault, Massacre, Momentum, Regenerate if you don't have Soul Split as that will heal you, and then on the last three or four I like to have my potions just easily um, so I can reach them. I usually have that on Q, that on E and that on W so it's just easy to use. Um, you don't have to use all of these and you won't be using Massacre or most of the abilities if you choose to use Momentum which is basically AFKing. Once you get there, there are two methods you can choose to train. You can choose the AFK method where you will just use abilities to when you reach an ultimate ability then use momentum which makes your auto attacks much stronger for 20 minutes. This is very AFK and you pretty much don't have to do anything except for eat or do your prayer. You can uh, or you can choose to use abilities. This is non AFK at all and you will have to be very focused. If you're using momentum and AFKing, it will be 85 to 90k XP an hour in any of your combat skills. That means your attack, defense, and strength. 
and if you are using abilities it will be 120 to 130k xp an hour this just depends how good you are with your abilities and um, what gear you're using what to do once you're there once you have got here by talking to Heart Twin you will want to pot up and put on your prayers um, my quick prayers with curses are usually Berserker, Turmoil and Soul Split if I run low on HP. Then go down, put Auto Retaliate on, click on the XP and choose what you want to train. Walk in and you should get attacked and you can attack back. You can use abilities or momentum and that is pretty much it. Um, once, if you are using Monkfish and no prayer bots. Once you run out of prayer you just walk up the ladder and you can pray at the altar and your prayer will be recharged. After a while they will stop attacking you and all you have to do is just go up and then back down the ladder. Sometimes as soon as you come down the ladder there will be quite a few people here. You can go around the corner to the west and there usually aren't too many people here and it still works just as well. <coughs> some of the zombies will use range and some of them will use mage. I mean melee. Um, you can either use prayers against them, you can use monkfish to eat, or if you have curses use soul split. If you become low on HP uh, you can use regenerate to restore your health. This is a very useful ability if you don't have soul split. Thank you for watching my RuneScape post EOC melee training guide. I hope you have enjoyed and it has helped you. If you have any questions feel free to inbox me on YouTube or leave me a comment below. Please rate the video and subscribe if you've enjoyed and this has helped you. Subscribe for more Road to Riches guides and update videos. Thank you for watching and goodbye.